Okay, this is just a driving tour of what is it, Canyon Trails RV Park in Forest Lake, Arizona. And it's so pretty out that uh, I just wanted to do a tour of this before we leave today. So let's see how it goes. What we're going to do is we're going to take a tour of the B loop first, which is uh, the B loop does not have any uh, electrical hookups and uh, of course no water. Uh, no sewer and uh, so this is just a, a uh, kind of boondocking they do have uh, picnic tables and fire pits and uh, lots and lots and lots of trees Have large group areas. You do have vault toilets, and they do have access to water, although it may not be potable water. Lots and lots of open sites this morning. There are pull through sites and back end sites, as well as uh, tent sites. I've got a little bit of everything here. See some people have uh, packed in a tent. This is part of the Sitgraves National Forest.
appears that most of the sites have been leveled, uh, at least to some degree. Uh, I found that uh, when I pulled into my site, that it's not perfectly level, but it's pretty good. Lots of toilets, lots of fault toilets if you uh, are in a tent or if you're in a vehicle that does not have a toilet in it. Uh, certainly no problem getting to a toilet around here. And lots and lots and lots of trees. Beautiful trees. They do have, and I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but they do have uh, fire pits at each one of the campsites. If you don't have firewood, of course, uh, they don't want you cutting down trees to uh, get firewood, but they provide, uh, or they have firewood for sale. So uh, that is one thing to consider. If you don't have firewood and you want to uh, have a fire around your camp for the evening, then uh, Uh, possible to buy firewood and uh, have your fire. Okay, and we are coming back to the end or where we began at uh, Loop B. We will go ahead and continue on now to some of the other amenities that you'll find in this campground. Only one speed bump that I've seen so far, and um, I don't believe you can see it from here. Uh, let me see if I can. camera here just a bit. They do have an amphitheater. Uh, if you can see the seating out there, that's kind of nice. If you have a, a large group and you want to have a some kind of a entertainment or something like that, then they do have a spot where you can do that. What you see here is the trash receptacles. If you're not a registered, <coughs> oh, excuse me, a registered camper here, they do charge three dollars a bag. Um, doesn't matter what size the bag is, but they'll charge you three dollars a bag. So, uh, 
as recommended by one of the uh, employees here if you're gonna dump it make it a big 30 gallon bag uh, what you see up ahead here is the public showers and restrooms flush toilets uh, hot water uh, showers for men and women and uh, had one myself last night and that was kind of nice very nice Okay, coming up here, we have the dump stations. Where you can dump your, your tanks and fill up on water. This is the entrance and the main registration area as you come in. And I'm not sure that you can see it on the camera, but this is Canyon Point Campground, Apache Sit Graves National Forest. This is operated by Thousand Trails. So no doubt you can make uh, reservations for uh, your stay through the Thousand Trail system. Off to the right here we have the uh, camp hosts uh, on site 24-7. So if you have a problem or a question, you can always go to one of the camp hosts and get help. I'll pull in here so that uh, you can kind of get a, a view of what the fees are. stop and read that. I, I will tell you that if you have the uh, um, the pass, the uh, senior pass, or the national parks pass, that uh, you do get better prices. Um, they do provide you there for a self-service pay station. Um, After hours, the, uh, the registration uh, booth there at the entrance does close. Um, and I suppose that if you drive through and you find a site that's open that doesn't have a reservation sign on it, you can go ahead and uh, choose that site and uh, pay your fees and you're okay until the next day. All right, we're going through Loop A now. Uh, loop A has uh, some electrical sites. Uh, not all. Not all of the sites have electric. But these sites, um, as the others, do not have water uh, or sewer. So you do all of your uh, 
your water requirements and sewer dumps up at the main entrance there where we passed through. Loop A is sites 1 through 41. And I don't recall what loop B is. Um, however, it's a, a much larger loop. Um, so it has quite a few more uh, campsites than does loop A. Uh, just like loop B, it has uh, lots of vault toilets. All of the employees here seem to be very friendly. How are you today? I am awesome. If I was any better, there'd be two of me. How are you? Doggone. I'm great. Well, awesome. Loving it out here. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful morning. Yes, sir. It couldn't be any more blessed. There you go. <laughs> You're blessed to be uh, an employee in an area or in a setting like this where it's so beautiful. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Boy, too bad I didn't uh, start my career out doing work like this. It would have been much better. This is the end. The end? Yeah. This yeah. is my, I don't want to say third career, but yeah, this is the end. <laughs> then you get to go out and enjoy it. Exactly. And that's what I've been doing for the last five months. Have you? Been up here hosting for uh, since April. And so mid-October we'll be leaving out. So uh, it's definitely... So you're semi-retired, are you? Yes. Okay, and you get to you get to travel and then uh, host in places like Wow. They pay me to have fun. Oh man. Well, good for you. Well, thank you. Sir. I I worked in an office for over thirty years, and uh, this it just finally got to the point a year ago where I couldn't take it anymore, and I said, "See you later." And now, now I get to come out and enjoy it. But exactly. man, it nearly killed me before it did. Ah, uh, well, at least now you can enjoy everything that you've got going. There you go. Thank you so much, and hey, have you a have great a day. Nice day. Enjoy. So he is one of the camp hosts, and I gotta say that all of the people that I've talked to here at this campground is uh, they're just really super people and always just uh, I don't know how to say it uh, just very very friendly and happy and I guess if I worked in a place like this I'd be happy to uh, like I was telling that gentleman there uh, that's not where I spent my career. We have some aspens along with the pines here. Even the uh, <coughs> even the campers here are friendly. Everybody waves at you as you drive by, and it's just really, really, really nice. Looks like we've got some school activities going on here. People out walking their dogs. Turns out this is a great morning to do this tour. The lighting is just really, really great. 
the, the overcast skies, it kind of uh, evens out the lighting so that we don't have sharp shadows and stuff like that. It's just great. Hi! How are you? Yeah? Say hi. Hi. Bye -bye. No I, oh, got it. <laughs> got it. Thank you so much. Have a good morning. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, got another one. Thank you. You want to see my doggie? Come here, Isis. Come here. Looky here. Oh. <laughs> she likes little ones. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Have fun today. Bye bye. Oh, Wish I could have gotten a picture of that little girl. She was so cute. Standing out there with her mama. Pretty little girl. Couldn't have been but maybe a year old. Uh, here we are. Okay, we're back at our camp. Uh, back in, get uh, ready to hook up and take off. So, hope you enjoyed the tour. I had a great time showing it to you. And we'll get uh, things hooked up and ready to go today on our way towards Winslow.